Let me show you something really quickly. A deck of cards actually has a built-in lie detector, and I'll show you what I mean. I'll split the deck into about two equal piles, and I want you to just go ahead and choose one. That one right there? Okay, so this is the one that you're going to use, and for this one for now, uh, just call it stop whenever you want. So let's say you stop right there. Okay. Now we're going to go back to your pile. I want you to just, uh, as I kind of run my finger down, just go ahead and say stop. Stop right there. Okay, let's see what we got. I'll just go ahead and show you your card right here. Go ahead, take a good look at it, and memorize it. And then we'll just get it lost in the pack, okay? Like that, and you know, we'll even give it a shuffle. Okay. Now, to make sure I don't really mess with that, take this box. Go ahead and put that right there. Okay? Now we're going to go back to this pile. So, remember how I told you that the cards have a built-in lie detector? So I'm going to go ahead and ask you a series of questions, and we'll see if the cards think you're telling the truth. So now, was your card black, or in this case, purple? It was black. All right, let's see what the cards have to say. I know the cards say it's purple, so I think that was a lie. All right, let's go with the next one. So if it's purple, it either has to be a heart or a diamond. So was your card a heart or a diamond? It was a heart. Let's see what the cards say. The cards say it was a diamond. I think they caught you on another lie. Let's, let's, all right, all right, let's, let's finish it right here. Now, what was the value of your card? It was a six. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh no, the cards say it was a seven, not a six. So that must mean your card was a purple seven of diamonds. So that's what the cards say. But remember how I told you I wasn't really gonna touch that? I'm gonna lift up the box right here. And let's see, hopefully if the cards, yeah, it looks like the cards got it right. Your card was the seven of diamonds. Hello everyone, welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that little performance. That was my variation of the lie detector card trick. Now that card trick in specific, there are many variations on it. I'm sure every magician has their form of how they want to present it, but basically the lie detector concept uh, basically involves either the magician or the cards themselves trying to deduce lies in order to figure out what the spectator's card is. Now, I'm basically just going to be going over my thoughts on, I'd say, the structure of a lie detector card trick and just sort of figure out any pros, cons, and just give you my general thoughts on it. So, I'll just go ahead and get right into it. Now, with the performance that you just saw, I would say really pointing out most of the advantages with that, and really just in general, is that um, there's a certain level of adaptability to the lie detector card trick. And what I mean by that is you can really adapt it to any sort of situation that you're doing. You can adapt it to maybe a one-on-one, -on -one. maybe you're performing for just one person, maybe there's a group, you can present that really well because even though, yes, more times than not, you're focusing on just one person, it really speaks well with the group because they're engaged, they're trying to figure out the whole concept that you've just told them that, oh, I can, you know, detect lies, you know. In the performance that you saw, I was asking questions. I was like, is the card black or purple in that case? So it's just like, you know, I was trying to figure out the lies. So that actually speaks very well, yes, in, uh, just on a one-on-one, -on -one, but also in a group, because that entire group is hitched on, oh, you know, can he really detect the lie and everything? And it, and it, just, it just adds another level like, of suspense, I would say, to your performance. So I think that adaptability, that it works well in groups and on a one-on-one -on -one setting, I think that's really powerful. One other thing that I like about a lie detector type card trick is that it's one, it's very simple. The performance that I saw, definitely I added a few more elements, but none of them I would say are particularly difficult. I think the simplest like lie detector you can do really just involves one slide. And as you know, on this channel, I don't really like to reveal anything too much. So I try to give my thoughts, um, you know, to and, and most of my audiences, you know, people who also like to perform card magic. So for those of you who do know it, you can kind of get what I'm talking about. But basically, the simplest version really only involves just one slide. And so that's what I like about this. You can adapt it a little bit more to sort of involve more, uh, I'd say, more advanced slides, but it's still very beginner level. It's nothing at all difficult. And that's what I really like about it. So that's really it for the pros, I would say. So once again, it's just you're able to adapt it to a lot of situations. And it's just it's so simple, yet the effect, it just packs like a major punch. If you were to perform something like I had where their card, their card that they had thought of after you've detected the lies and, you know, maybe you've caught them on a lie or maybe they did tell the truth or anything like that. Either way, you've built it up to this big moment and then you just sort of reveal that their card is like, you know, there the whole time. That is also very powerful. 
So when it comes to, I would say, I wouldn't even call this like a con of, of this like trick. I would just say, I guess the most important element you would need to work on is how you present it. And what I mean by that is like, you need to develop a, a sort of pattern with this. You need to figure out what you're gonna say and you need to present this in a way that adds suspense. You know, you need to introduce the concept. It's like, okay, you know, I'm gonna try and, you know, detect lies, the cards are gonna do it. Whatever way you need to build something, you need to have something, you need to build your foundation first and then build upon that. That's what I did in my performance and that's what I love about my variation is I start through and I'm like, is your card black or red? And then I present them with the card and whether it's the truth or not, it still adds another layer of suspense. You're building anticipation up to that big reveal. So I would say that's really the only, as I said, I wouldn't even call that a con. It's just something you need to work on before you start performing this trick because it's very simple. But if you present it in a way that's, as I said, build suspense, it's going to have a really powerful impact. So that's really all about I have to say on the trick. Um, I really hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time.